Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Heisey. I'm a working mom of a three-year-old toddler named Dalina and I'm currently 30 weeks pregnant with our baby number two. In today's video, I'm going to DIY a bunch of Montessori inspired number and counting activities and also show you guys how I introduce these activities to Alina. The first activity I'm going to make is Montessori number rods. This material is to introduce children quantities from one to 10. Today, I'm going to be more focused on making materials up to five, just because that's where Alina's at. You probably don't want to show your child all numbers one through 10 at a time because it can be really overwhelming for your child. You can always start with numbers one through three first and then gradually and slowly add another rod. I'm using the colored popsicle sticks that I got from Kmart. You can DIY this with cardboard or maybe with Lego blocks if you have enough red and blue ones. I just found the popsicle sticks were cheap and easy. So the Montessori number rods have a series of blue and red colored wooden rods that are arranged in a stair-like pattern which visually shows the child the concept of getting bigger and help the child practice accounting in a concrete way. The second activity I'm going to make is Montessori sandpaper numbers. It's designed to teach children the symbols that represent each number, allowing them to visually identify any numbers from 0 to 9. Children use their tactile sense of touch in order to feel the rough sandpaper on each board, tracing out the numbers. This helps children make the connection between the concept of numbers and the symbol, and it also prepares them for writing. The Montessori sandpaper cards are super easy to DIY at home. All you gotta do is just cut out 10 pieces of cardboard, write all of the numbers on the card and then go over it with some glitter glue and let it dry out. You can also use a very fine grade of sandpaper and cut out numbers but I just wanted to use what we already have at home. Now I'm going to use generous amounts of glitter glue over it to create that raised texture like sandpaper so that Alina can trace each number with her fingers. The next activity I'm going to make is a Montessori spindle box. The spindle box is designed for children to place the correct amount of wooden spindles in compartments labeled 0 to 9. Again, I'm going to make it just up to 5 because I don't want to overwhelm Alina. I'm using an egg carton and 6 toilet paper rolls to create 6 compartments from 0 to 5. You can cut the toilet paper rolls in half and make it look like this, whichever you prefer. Now I'm going to print out the numbers. Again, use what you already have at home or you can just simply write numbers in nice big black marker. I just happen to have a label printer at home so I'm gonna use this. The spindle box gives children a muscular impression of the quantities as they collect and bind spindles to place in each section. It's also a great way to introduce the concept of zero as one box remains empty while the others are filled. The fourth activity I'm going to DIY is Montessori counting packboard. This material is designed for children to practice one-to-one -one correspondence while also seeing the corresponding number symbol. In order to DIY this material, you need some cardboard box, plastic bottle caps and some counters. I'm making six boards today for numbers 0 through 5 and you also need some plastic bottle caps to create the holes on the packboard. Thank you. 
Now for the counters, we have a bowl of macadamia nuts because they just happen to be what we had on hand and they fit perfectly into the plastic bottle caps. There's just one thing I want to mention before we move on. The purpose of this video is to show you guys that Montessori is for everyone whether you're on a budget or not. Sometimes we just have to find a way to make it work using things that we already have at home. I certainly can't afford all the um, authentic Montessori materials because one they're expensive and two I'm not homeschooling Alina so there's no need for me to purchase those. So I started to DIY a lot of Alina's materials and I found that it's really easy to do and I also found that she loves the material just as much as the expensive version that I just saw online and I'm telling you it doesn't make it any less Montessori because you are making materials out of air cotton cardboard box or toilet paper roll so I really hope you guys find this video helpful and useful for your Montessori journey and if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up now I'm going to go ahead and show you how I introduced these materials that I DIY to Alina. One to three, three period lessons are used throughout the presentation. Oh. 
네. 맞아. 그래서 네 개여서 사야. 사. 응. 이건 뭐죠? 응. 응. 트레이 통째로 갖고 와봐. 어, 어떻게한지 보여줄게. 한번 이거 안 나올래. 그래? 어. 이거 할래 이거. 그래? 그럼 그거 갖고 와. 오, 엄마 이거 보세요. 자 여기 숫자가 있다 0 0은 없어. 없어 아무것도 없어 이거는 1이죠 1 2 3 4 5 0은 없어 아무것도 없어 1은 한개 넣는 거야 그래서 2에는 몇개 넣죠? 맞아. 아린 두개 넣어봐. 그럼 이건 뭐죠? 3. 3에는 몇 개를 넣으면 될까? 이렇게 세 개. 이게 세 개. 맞아. 이건 뭐예요? 이거? 4. 4는 몇개 넣으면 돼? 4개를 세봐 이거는 뭐예요 숫자가? 5 5 이거 이제 5개 넣어야지 5 맞아 이렇게 하는 거야 <웃음> 자 그러면은 아린이가 이거를 순서대로 넣을 수 있겠어? 응. 이건 0. 맞아. 아무것도 없는 거. 맞아. 또 세면서 해봐. 말로. 말로 하나 둘셋넷 The next activity is cards and counters. The purpose of this material is to help children associate quantities with numbers. So your child is to place the proper quantity underneath a specific number. It's also a great way to introduce the concept of odd and even numbers. In order to DIY this material, you need your sandpaper numbers or whatever number card you have on hand and then your counters. Now for your counters, make sure you have the correct number of counters to equal the exact number of cards that you have. So Alina's working 1 through 5, so we need 15 counters in order to be able to self-correct. So if at the end there are not enough or if there are extra left over, Alina will know that there is a mistake. I think I recommend that this activity be introduced a little bit later on after your child has already had some experience with the number rods as well as the spindle boxes. I think this activity was a bit too challenging for Alina so she kind of got distracted and then lost her interest in the middle of it and then just walked away. <laughs> <laughs> 
For most children, the sensitive period for learning mathematical concepts is between the age of four and six years. Before that, children need to develop their hands, their concentration, make sensorial impressions of the world around them. So there's no need to rush your child into learning math before they get to preschool. It's okay to just forget about it and they will learn when the time comes. But with that said, I think it's also totally fine to gently introduce some of those mathematical materials that were carefully designed by Dr. Maria Montessori for the kids who are interested in numbers and counting. <laughs> These materials give children concrete experiences with math concepts in a way that is fun and interactive. As they play, they get to learn what numbers mean in the real world sense. If you're not sure whether your child is ready for learning more about numbers and counting, you can just leave them out on your child's shelf and see if they are interested. And if you find your child is not really all that interested in doing them, that's fine. You can just put them away until they are ready. Remember that children learn at their own pace. Some kids are ready for math earlier or later than the others. And we just have to trust them that they will learn when they're ready. So this is it. If you have any questions or if you have any of your own ideas or suggestions, feel free to leave comments down below. I would love to hear from you guys. On this channel, I make videos about Montessori at home, Montessori activity ideas and Montessori inspired home makeover. If you are interested in these topics, you might want to consider subscribing to my channel. This way you don't miss a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.